Hey friends, welcome to part two of the move in series. If you haven't checked out part one, please do so. So I didn't want to drop part two of the move in series until my apartment was comfortable. I define comfortable as me being able to do the things that I love. Uh, my bedroom was missing a dresser um, and you guys will see me put together the dresser later on in this series. The second and the most important thing was my living room furnishing. So I didn't want to do too much initially. I just wanted to have a couch and a TV. You guys saw that I mounted my TV by myself. And I looked around for a couch to watch my TV on for months. But none of the reviews were good. Like they were saying the couches that I was, the couches that I liked, they were saying that they were very uncomfortable. I just stumbled upon this random couch from Walmart one day and it was so beautiful and it was only $635. That was literally cheap compared to the couches that, you know, I was saving, like I was bookmarking. And what made me really love this couch was the exposed like wood base. I don't know, something about it just really stood out to me. It looked very different than what I was seeing out there. And the reviews were awesome. I had no idea that Gap made like home furnishings. So this this was a huge shocker to me. Um, and to make things even better, guess what? Whenever it was time for me to move, they reduced the price by $135. So I saved a lot as well. I'm gonna organize this, I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know what you want to call it a bookcase a bookshelf whatever um this is from target but everyone knows the famous the calyx one from ikea um i i i got these today so we're gonna start organizing i'm gonna show you guys what i'm, I'm gonna transform this messy area into something a little bit more organized this in the future will be my tiktok like get ready with me filming area this hideous, what do they call it? Like a breaker thing? I don't know what it is. I want to hide that. So I've just been thinking about ways to really transform this area. So you guys will be going on this journey with me. If you don't take away anything from this video, please remember that if you're moving to go to Ikea and get the 99 cent bags, they have been a life changer. They have been a game changer with me moving from one apartment to the next. I am going to get three more um, baskets. I don't know if I should get like a different style to kind of spice things up or should I stick with what I have? But here is the end result. I love it. So there's a funny story of why I tried the banchan. I was on hinge and this guy kept on talking about banchan. I went to work and my coworker kept on talking about banchan. So in the span of a week and a half, everybody was talking about banchan and I was very curious about this place. So um, I ended up going there and this is the kimchi fried rice and the drumsticks with um, coleslaw on the side. And um, here is my reaction to it. Okay guys, I've eaten enough of this food. This is good. It's flavorful, it's good. Hey guys, hey friends. Things are happening, things are progressing with this apartment. I am going to be building my dresser today. And let me show you guys the cute color that it is. I bought this gray color. Um, I'm trying to do this tulum. Mexico theme bedroom. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it all turns out in the very end. But for right now, uh, yeah, that inspired the color. Um, and then I need to find a way to kind of merge everything together. As you guys already know, my headboard is that color and the gray of the dresser merges perfectly with the wall my walls aren't actually white my walls are this grayish bluish color i am obsessed and it was only 125 dollars. would you have guessed hey guys it's midnight and i'll finally be assembling my second couch um here's the first one and the second one is here and this is what i was waiting on to post the second part to the moving series 
Um, I'll just show you the progression of the apartment. I definitely will have to clean if I will be doing that. It is messy in here, but um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I don't like how everything looks right now, but I think once I make the modifications that I have in mind, everything will kind of be a little bit more cohesive, but let me know what you think so far. See you in the next series. Bye.